getting the pads out today? It was good. We had some uh, good work. I uh, felt like uh, it was a good day to build off of, and um, it's good to be actually you know, playing real football again. And um, Yeah, so good day. Obviously, you can read a little bit more into how guys are playing on the offensive line, specifically once the pads come on. Just what did you see from, from Zion today? Oh man, I mean he's he's exact. He's living up to the bill right now. You know, I mean it's first day of pads, but everything that we thought, you know, was Drew. He's a really good player. You know, so he uh, he's got a ton of raw talent that you can see he's already put a lot together. And honestly, it's the sky's the limit, man. He's um, very talented, and uh, you know I'm, I'm excited to play next to him. Rashawn mentioned to us the other day that the one thing that he took away from Zion was just his confidence. That yeah. yeah, he's 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 calm. You know, he, he's just a he's a calm, collected individual. That um, he's smart as hell. Uh, you know, he's just there's really not a whole lot that I've seen where I'm like, eh, you know, it's it's he's just a calm, confident individual who loves playing ball. And um, yeah, it's a, I'd, I'd say Rashawn hit the nail on the head. What's it like for you guys in the line to look up and see Khalil, uh, Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa? Oh, I mean it's. It's good we're going against them out here, you know. It's uh, they're they're two phenomenal players. Played against Khalil for a number of years in in uh, Chicago, and again another guy that lives up to the billing. You know, I don't know what pick he was, but um, he was obviously he's lived up to all the hype, and uh, excited that he's here. Yeah, for sure. And uh, you know, I feel like everybody added, you know. Um, just like you said, added added a ton of talent um, out on the edge, and there's been some, excuse me, great acquisitions all across our division. Uh, and yeah, it definitely helps us going up against those two guys. You know, Joey and Khalil have obviously made names to themselves in the league for a number of years now, and um, yeah, just it, it it it'll be beneficial for us, you know, down the line. Yeah, I you know honestly, I mean, I feel like they're there there's a lot of similarity between the two of them um you know maybe their build's a little different I, joey might be a little taller but they're both you know i feel like they're both complete rushers they there's no like you know it's not like they're speed guys or power guys they can do it all they they're, they can do it all they're technicians they're they're extremely extremely detailed with their with their technique and that, i think when you get a guy when you get guys like that who are who have all the talent in the world and just work on their craft day in and day out, you know, that that's what makes them, you know, who they are. So are you nervous with Justin as he goes into his third season? Um, no, nah, I mean Justin's Justin's pretty consistent in, in terms of who he is and how he prepares and um, you know, I'm excited to see him this year and I, I have I guess, you know, he is in the walkthroughs and out of here in practice and everything. He's he's definitely uh, in tune a little bit more with um, some of the suggestions that we've made, and uh, he's he's making calls now, and he's doing he's making adjustments and stuff that um, you know maybe last year he was he was maybe a little hesitant to. So, I, and, and he's just going to build and get better, man. I mean, uh, he's another guy like him and Zion share a lot of similarities. Just calm, collected, confident. You know, all the c words. And <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's 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 more like. Um, just working together you know when what if he sees something it's it, you know we're like hey don't hesitate to call that out and, and make the adjustment because we're in tune with it you know so i'd say that's you know from an adjustment standpoint that's that's something that he's uh shown in the first early few days of camp and even in, in the off season um in otas and stuff that uh you know we're like hey man you see it call it like we're we're good you know we we know as long as we're on the same page like you know we're good make make the call Um, I feel like he's he's a guy where, and it, he he's it's more of his attitude, you know. And, and yeah, he says stuff. It's not like he doesn't, you know, rally the team up and stuff. But his his calm again, like that that sort of confidence where it doesn't need to be said a whole lot. You could just see it in his eyes where you're like, this guy's this guy's in the zone, and and that's what he brings in day in and day out. Where we're like, you know, we all rally around him. Honestly, like, I feel confident. I felt confident last year. I felt like we, you know, you, you got to look at 
different things that happened across the year last year. And it was the first year and everybody's learning. Justin was learning. I'm learning. Like we're all learning. And now we, we can take that next step where, yeah, we definitely made some awesome acquisitions, like bringing in all these D linemen that, um, you know, I have a lot of respect for everybody that we brought in and, um, you know, every, across the board, you know, it, and for us, it's just now it's about us, you know, it's about diving into the playbook, diving into, you know, adjustments and diving into um, little minute details in the game plan where we can now build off of the stuff that we built on last year, you know, so it, it does it feel different. Yeah, I mean, it should, you know, but um, overall, I feel the same level of focus and attention and and work. It's just we're in a different place now, you know. Yeah, yeah. Your bodies is that the main takeaway from, from sort of the changes made to the interior of the defensive line, or is it a little more layered than that? Yeah, it's, I'd say it's a little more than that. There, I mean, we had we had some big guys last year. I mean, it's it, for for us, it's like I, I I've played against Sebastian and Austin, and both of those guys, you're like, I feel like they're a little bit unheralded. You know, that's kind of the name of the game for the inside guys, right? It's unless you're getting the sack total, you know, you don't hear the names, but. Um, for those two guys, when I saw that we signed them, I was like, man, this, these are awesome. You know, Sebastian's a phenomenal nose tackle, and he uh, he's definitely one of the best that I've ever gone up against. For, so for us to get him and Austin, I mean, it's it's um, those are two huge pickups and excited to see this year, his second year in the in the defense out of Jerry, too. And, um, you know, again, it's just about building, set, you know, stay, uh, taking where we were last year and then building off that. What sort of progress have you seen from uh, experience? Those guys, it's, it's like – they know what it is. Like they know the battle. They know what they have to do. But our, I feel like our room is so tight that it's we're 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 all working together, man. Like in the O line, I don't know. I guess I've never played anything with O line, but in O line, it's in the O line world. It's you know, it's all about cohesion. Like you got to know what the guy next to you is thinking. You got to communicate. And if if one of us one of us can't succeed unless the rest the guys playing next to you can, you know. So for us, it's all a, for those two guys. They've they've been battling their their uh, butts off, and uh, they've been working they working all off season. I know that both of them have put in more work this off season than they have ever before. And um, you know, we 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 just want best five out there, but we know that we we have a really good room where next man up. You know, we have all the confidence in the world. How are you feeling going into year nine? Yeah, I mean, it's flown by, but um, you know, I feel like every year it's just. It's the same thing, man. You just got to go out there, prove yourself, prove to yourself you can play, prove to the league that you're still the same guy, improve on things that you didn't. And um, I, I definitely feel a lot better than I thought I would, that, you know, when I was a rookie. But, um, yeah, I'm I, uh, excited and thankful for this opportunity. Yeah. The uh, guardian caps that the linemen are wearing, how do you, how do you feel about those? They're fine. I mean, it's, I thought it was going to be a bigger deal than it was, but it's it's all good there. Yeah, I thought it was going to be heavier, but I really don't notice the difference. I guess I hit a couple, you know, got a couple headshots today and felt a little nicer, I guess. So that's, you know, maybe it'll um, maybe it'll do what they're saying it will do. So. Corey, going back to the bigger bodies, Coach Taylor said he wants the team to be more physical. How have you seen the team sort of embrace that mentality so far? Yeah, I mean, first day in pads, you can tell, and it's no different than what we've seen in the past from these guys. You know, we've played against these guys that we picked up, and they're the same dudes, man. It's It's – they're super talented. They're super strong, heavy, um, heavy hands, great with their technique. And that's the thing in, in Coach Staley's defense is, you know, it, it's it's assignment, man. They're, they're very smart. It's, you know, when we played them against the Rams and last year, you know, they're all, um, even though we were learning last year, it's it's a lot, it's a very complex defense. But um, the guys that we have have obviously played in the system, but they're also very smart football players. And uh, to be able to combine those two, um, you know, the technique and the heaviness and the hands and, you know, all of that with the intelligence, um, you know, it's it's promising. Talking to uh, Joe during OTAs, he mentioned something about Justin that he's starting from like a football 202 standpoint instead of maybe last year where it was like football 101. Yeah. And one example he brought up was like using his cadence more. Yeah. Um, for you as a center, like how, how do you guys go about, you know, the mechanics of it in terms of him using his cadence more, maybe trying to draw defenders offside? Like how, how much are you a part of that process? Yeah, I, I think – with us, and it was this. It was this way in Green Bay. You know, there are certain plays that we have in the off and in, in the offense that, um, where, given the specific play call, uh, a different cadence is going to help. You know, and we had a few sprinkled in last year, but now that we're again like that football two hundred two, 
uh, that Football 202 uh, platform that he's on right now, starting from, uh, you know, he's able to, now we got this particular play where this cadence might be beneficial given the uh, the defense, given the look that we're going to get, given the motion, you know, all this stuff that uh, kind of comes into play that he's, he's now in tune with that, where he's kind of switching it up and stuff. And um, he's getting better every day with that. And that helps us out a ton. You know, it's if, if they don't know what, snap count it's on you know it, it it helps everybody out so that's uh it, it's big yeah anything else thanks Corey. cool thanks Thank guys you, Corey. What's, up, Nas? what's going on how's the first day in pads it's been good man feel good to be back out here beautiful weather you know what i mean just competing i mean i'm enjoying out here and uh just in terms of you know how much more comfortable you feel in the scheme this year that's something that ronaldo was talking to where have you seen the growth from yourself mentally in terms of how you fit in the scheme, how comfortable you are in the scheme? Yeah, I mean, just year two, year two in the system. Um, I mean, it's always going to be uh, very beneficial because, I mean, you're not out there thinking. I mean, you're no, now you're able to look at more. You're able to look at the quarterback's tendency. You're able to look at where the receivers are lining up, down the distances, all that. When you're not thinking about what you have to do, you're able to look at a lot more and play a lot faster. So it's definitely been uh, really beneficial. Oh, no, nah, yeah, I definitely miss having my boy back there. But, I mean, he's doing a great job being the leader that he is, um, making sure everybody knows what they're supposed to do, bringing the energy. Um, I mean, yeah, but we're, we're excited to have him back whenever that time comes. But, I mean, he's being a great leader um, and going about this the right way, in my opinion. Coach, as the offseason is unfolding and you guys are adding all these defensive pieces, what, what were you thinking? Oh, I mean, just a whole lot of excitement. I mean, we, we see the type of players that, um, that we brought in, the type of leaders they are. Um, I mean, they just, I mean, you, you can feel it. You can feel it when you're out there. They're bringing the energy, being physical, flying around. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, we got a really good group. Oh, I mean, just, I mean, speed, um, length, range. I mean, like, everything you want, like, in the center fielder. I mean, he's he's very attentive and um, learning and making sure he knows the spots he needs to be in. So he's getting some good good lessons. Um, I mean, he, he's receptive to the information. I mean, that's that's what you want, like, especially coming as a young player. Like, you're just trying to soak in as much knowledge as you can, and that's what he's doing. Now, do you feel like it's been beneficial for you through these first five days to not have Derwin out there? Just because Derwin's obviously the signal caller, but not having him out there might just, you know, allow you to, to – I mean, I mean, not not really. I mean, obviously, um, it's always gonna, it's gonna be a different with DJ on the field. Um, but I mean, I, I go about my business the same way as I would if he was out there. Um, just making sure I'm communicating, making sure I'm being a leader and um, shoot running the show. Um, just communicating because a lot of times he'll be down on the line of scrimmage and I'm be making the calls in the back end regardless. So I mean, not not really much has changed for me. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it could be a lot of situations where I just need to be patient. I need to sit and, you know what I mean, and let the play unfold, and then I turn on once I know. Um, I mean, it's definitely a blessing being able to have speed because then you could be a lot more patient. And so, because then when you do see run or you do see uh, pads, you can trigger a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, everybody know that about me. Like, I'm trying to go. So um, it's definitely been a, a process just learning, like, all right, this is a situation I need to put on the brakes, and this is a situation I can get on the gas. What was that process like for you in terms of, like, was there a moment where you, where you sort of came to the realization, or has this sort of been a gradual process? Was it when the new coaching staff came in? Was it conversations with Ronaldo and, and DA? Like, what? How was that? I mean, yeah, I mean, they, they've been uh, – I mean, I, I love the coaches that we have. I mean, they've been uh, – very beneficial to my growth and helping me just just learn the game. You know, I mean, it's been a gradual process. Um, I've learned even when I came into the league, um, just when to turn it on, when when not to. Um, but I mean, just the overall knowledge of the game, they've been extremely helpful. Oh, I mean, just a, a lot of energy. I mean, I'm sure you guys can feel it out there. Already coming in here, making big time plays, um, going up there, being a leader, going up there, stepping up one on ones. Um, I mean, just, I love playing with him. What have you seen out of uh, Mark Webb so far? This camp obviously got you know, for a long that time. That boy healthy. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I definitely knew him for a long time. It's definitely uh, after seeing the injuries and stuff he was going through last year. It definitely feels good um, seeing him be him. Um, and I think, I mean, he got a lot. A lot more that he's going to be able to show, and I'm excited for him. Anything else? Thanks, Nas. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. How are we doing, guys? Any uh, update on Derwin James' situation? 
No uptakes, Lindsay. Same ass. Okay, I like the competition of one-on-ones. We wanted there to be a bunch of them so that we could really get a good look at this group. Uh, I like the the respect and competition. I thought it was fierce, but I thought there was a lot of respect, and there's a lot of good players going one-on-one there. So, um, you know, I thought the way we practice 11-on-11 is indicative of a good team. Uh, and so, um, you know, you got to get used to the pads. So this is our first A&M. We'll be in them tomorrow, uh, do a little bit more. Um, but I felt like it was a good start. Yeah, just the, the style of play, the pace, the tempo, the contact, um, making sure that you're keeping each other safe. You're going fierce, but you're keeping each other safe. Um, how the rushers are with the quarterback, how they, how the defensive players are with the, the backs and the receivers that are carrying the football, and, um, and that your substitutions are good in and out. And you keep your same pace when you put the pads on. And so um, I saw a good football team out there today. Drew, we haven't seen Drew out there for the last few days. What is he dealing with? Yeah, he's just dealing with a groin. Um, and uh, nothing long term, but um, just gonna make sure that he's good before he gets back. What, what do you think of the uh, competition with the running back group? The urgency that those guys threw through four or five minutes. Yeah, today was the first time that you know they're having to run through a lot of traffic, you know, tight traffic with pads on. So um, we'll be able to look at this tape and, and learn a lot more. But you know, in the one on ones, you know, the blitz pick up, you're gonna be able to see the physicality and um, you know who's gonna stick their nose in there and. Uh, you know, and I, there was some good contact in the 11 on 11, you know, and that's what we want to be able to see is contact as a runner, contact as a pass protector, and then the reliability as a receiver. So um, today is kind of the, the, the beginning, you know, I think for those guys. And then special teams, like I've been saying, uh, these guys are going to have to be a real factor. And um, those guys are working hard, and they know that there's a lot at stake. So line, do you line one on ones today? What did you what did you see there, Zion, Deshaun, Trey, and, uh, and Storm? Yeah, I felt. Like, you know, when you when you got Joey uh, and Khalil coming off the edge, um, that's going to be, you know, must see, you know, especially, you know, those three tackles that you're talking about. Such great work for them. And um, it's great work for Joey and Khalil because, you know, Rashawn is one of the, the top tackles in all of football. And, and we think Trey and Storm are really quality tackles. So those guys are going to be making each other better. Uh, I thought the young guards today showed that they have uh, what it takes. Um, you know, Matt Filer is so steady. Sometimes you forget um, what a good player he is. But those two young guards show they got they have what it takes. Um, they got the head on their shoulders. They're really strong inside, like really strong. And um, and then they work at it like crazy. And so uh, and they're going against a lot of quality inside players. When you're talking about Sebastian and Austin and Jerry and Foxy, you know those guys can those guys are good NFL players. So again, good first day of competition, and we'll keep getting better as we go. I've got a lot of respect for uh, his, his head coach, Kirby Smart, and that program and the way they do things. And you got to remember who that guy was blocking every day in practice for four years. And, um, you know, he's just got a lot of the, the stuff made of, of quality football players. I mean, he's got physicality, toughness, discipline. Um, he's calm. Um, and he's got that versatility to play, you know, a lot of different positions. And, um, you know, he's off to a good start. And, um, you know, this is going to be a, a great opportunity for him in this preseason to show what he can do. Yeah, I, I think for sure. Uh, a lot more vocal, and I think you guys can observe it during practice. He's just a lot more present with a lot different, you know, a lot more different types of groups within the team. Um, and, you know, specifically on offense, you know, he's being able to um, really insert himself into the skill position players and then with the line and then, hey, with the coaching staff, time and score situation. And then, then you see him interact with the defense and the specialists, and you just know that, um, you know, when you're second year of something, you just have a lot more confidence. And then within our offense, he's able to make, you know, suggestions or he's able to ask key questions um, that can really help take us to where we're capable of going. And then when you team him up with Corey, um, we really feel like that's a, a really good thing for our team. We didn't see JT in there for the two-minute drill. Was that just getting Michael Davis reps or was JT dealing with something? Or just yeah, just uh, – you know, first day in pads, uh, we just want to make sure that, you know, we're, we're watching all these guys' loads and trying to build them up the right way. And, um, you know, we're just uh, going to make sure that we're really intentional about that. But he was out there in the one-on-ones and the first, you know, first team period, I think the second one too. So, um, 
you know, again, we're just going to make sure that we build these guys up the right way, not do too much too soon, and then we'll we'll keep building them up before we play our first game. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Corey hasn't taken one on ones in a, in, a, in a while, and uh, I don't need to see him take a one on one. Uh, so we'll uh, we're just going to keep him out of that. We got a lot of other guys to to, to observe. Coach, what do you expect the hallmark of this offense to be this year? And maybe what stands out to you in terms of the evolution versus last year? Yeah, I just think we're going to be able to be a, a lot more complete offense. Um, I think more complete up front, more complete in skill position players, and then you know when you're starting quarterbacks in the second year. Uh, of this offense, I think you can just take it a lot farther, your operation, your tempo, um, and then knowing exactly who you're calling plays for, being able to call those right plays for that right player. Um, you know, I just think there's so much, you know, more that's happening right now than there was last year. You're able to take it so much deeper um, the second year. Uh, but their guys are all working hard, and, you know, I expect a physical group out there and a tough group and a group that plays together, you know, disciplined football, and um, we're off to a good start with that. Yeah, Daniel, I think, you know, he's got long levers, and I think the hang is one of his strengths. Uh, he can really get it up in the air, um, which certainly is going to help your coverage system. And, and he can also locate it um, different places, which also helps your coverage system. So he's off to a good start. He's got a good head on his shoulders. Today was the first day in pads, which, again, they're, they're not too dissimilar from a running back. You know, when you put the pads on, it's going to feel different. So I felt like our operation was good, um, snapped, a, snapped a punt. And then uh, we're able to really evaluate that, that punk group, the interior and the gunners. Um, but J.K.'s gotten off to a good start, and I, I like where he's at. All right, thanks, man. All right, guys. Take care. Have a great day.